ISO stands for Intelligence, Surveillance and Reconnaissance. Well, this is a very exciting job, and uh, it differs based on where you're stationed, what airframe you flew on, and what your specific mission is. Based on my experience, I've been to two different airframes, and the job is very, very different. One of the things I absolutely love about this career field that's totally unlike anything in the Air Force is that we are a bridge. Nobody else does intelligence, air crew, and in many cases, special operations all at once. You're doing a lot of data triage and you're taking an initial intelligence, looking at that raw intelligence, processing it, and immediately disseminating it to a customer on the ground or working in an operations center somewhere. There is no typical day. Every day is something a little bit different. You know, some days I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna shoot. Some days I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna do some technical training. Some days I'm gonna go up and fly and practice my skills up in the air. As an airborne ISR operator, we are considered the subject matter expert for that position. It requires a high level of skill to manage and maintain our systems while additionally working with these high-ranking officers. We don't always work on the same aircraft. In fact, that's one of the things I love about the Airborne ISR operator career field is that we've got numerous aircraft, whether we're talking about proper Air Force aircraft like the RC-135 Rivet Joint or the J-STARS or the EC-130 Compass Call. We also have a whole range of light ISR aircraft to support SOCOM missions. There's obviously consistent motifs um, that purview through the entire career field. However, the different mission sets for different aircraft necessitate different job responsibilities for an ISR operator. Airborne ISR operators have to go through constant training. When you're not deployed, your primary mission, regardless of any other duties that are leveraged upon you, is to train, train, train. There are different aspects that make this job very unique. It's the constant upgrading and constant training, because uh, just when you thought you know something, there's a new development, there's a new weapon system, there's a new capability that comes in and then you have to start all over again. It is very important to learn about other career fields that are related to the ISO operators, because it not only makes you a better operator, you get to build a relationship that helps you better serve your customer. First and foremost, most of our units are directly linked with our Airborne Cryptologic Language Analyst brothers and sisters. Additionally, because we bridge so much about the intelligence, aviation, and special operations community, it's absolutely vital that you learn as much as possible about all those different organizations, partners, and career fields within them, including our joint partners and their ranks and disciplines, in order to build that rapport very quickly and more effectively get after your mission. Knowing what they do and knowing what you do and how you work together to complete the mission will help win the fight in the most efficient and effective way.